In 2010, at a global level, over 1.3 billion people, or 20% of the world's population, lacked access to reliable electricity. Electricity has become an integral part of today's EU societies. It's something we take for granted. And in the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, how often do we stop to think about how our production and consumption of electricity can affect the environment? I'm Marta Wisdom, and you're watching Our Day. To find out the answer to the previous question, we'll need to consider the figures. So, using statistics from Eurostat, let's explore the way that we produce and use up electricity and the pivotal role this plays in creating a green economy. Statistics show that in 2010, transport and industry had important shares of energy use in the EU, with 32 and 25% respectively. Yet also 27% of total energy consumption took place within European households. Here, electricity plays an important role. It's mainly used to meet our daily needs, from lighting, cooking and heating through to entertainment. Electricity consumption has risen substantially in EU households. Between 1990 and 2010, it rose by almost 40%. One of the main reasons for this increase comes down to changes in our behaviour. Devices are becoming more efficient, but people are using more of them and often at the same time. The level of environmental damage caused by increases in consumption is directly related to how the electricity is produced. To build a future based on sustainable development, the conservation of non-renewable energy sources is vital. Renewable energy sources can be used as an alternative and produce negligible or zero greenhouse gas emissions. Statistics show that from 1990 to 2008, the share of electricity generated from renewable energy sources in the EU increased from 12% to 17%. According to EU statistics, hydroelectric power delivered the largest share of renewable electricity with 60%, followed by wind energy at 21% and then biomass at 17%. Small contributions came from solar and geothermal sources. Aside from the environmental benefits of generating electricity through renewable means, there is also a compelling economic argument in that these sources can create new jobs for some of the 23 million unemployed people currently living in the EU. So, transforming the EU into a green economy, as far as electricity is concerned, relies on both changing the way we use and generate electricity. As we've seen, using statistics from Eurostat, we're able to measure our progress towards a sustainable green economy.